Hello tankers, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today we've got an overview video of one of our newest additions from a new lineup of tanks coming from Tongdae. This is the Centurion Mark V, um, 1 16th scale tank that we sell in two options, an update uh, upgrade option, which uh, offers plastic treads, plastic road wheels, or professional edition will be available as well. Uh, and that has metal uh, tracks, metal road wheels, like you'd see on other brands of tanks uh, on our website that have two editions. So this one, no different there. The Centurion though is a great option for a tank. Uh, hasn't been modeled uh, by other brands that I noticed. Um, so it's great for anyone who collects these tanks. Tongdae is coming in and doing tanks that aren't readily available, that haven't been seen, if you will, uh, molded. So anyone who's a collector of tanks uh, should appreciate the fact that there's another brand out there making some great options. And the Centurion tank itself, a uh, very popular British tank, been around, uh, I believe it started 1945, more of a post-World War II uh, tank, but it's still, derivatives of it today are still in use um, around the world, um, although it's not produced anymore, if you will, but uh, it fought in the Korean War, the Gulf War, um, you name it, uh, throughout the uh, last 60 so years, uh, this tank has been around. Now, the model itself, though, when you pull it out of the box, let's take you back in time, go through the unboxing. Uh, when you pull it out, these Tongue Day tanks are packaged really well. Um, um, they're all put in the styrofoam. Um, you shouldn't expect any dings or damage. Um, and when you pull everything out of the box, you're gonna see you do get a lot of detail parts. Now, the one thing about these Tande tanks that differs from others, you will definitely need some rubber cement or some glue. I use foam tack. I didn't wanna use CA because, you know, a lot of plastic parts, CA can damage plastic or it's hard to get off. I use foam tack actually, which is a type of you know, rubber cement, if you will. You can peel it off, it's malleable, um, but it, it'll definitely hold, and that'll help you get all the detail parts on. So I'm not gonna show you every single, me putting every single part on. Go through the manual. Uh, the manual's very descriptive. It shows uh, where all the tank uh, pieces, all the accessory pieces should go. Um, so it's just a matter of taking time. It's more time consuming than hard, if you will. But. Uh, when you're done, you do get a beautiful looking tank. Now the decals themselves I like as well. Uh, these are some extra decals that just, I didn't want to put on the tank for whatever reason. I didn't know where they go. I didn't like them, if you will, but all the ones that I liked, I put on the tank and it's just, they're all vinyl and they're really, really well done. They're good, they're good vinyl stickers. Whereas you just cut the, cut around the decal peel it off the, the plastic backing and then place it on and then peel the plastic off and you're left with a really uh, nice clean decal, uh, which I like. Now, as far as the details go, um, this tank does what most uh, 16th scale tanks do in that it can fire airsoft pellets out of the cannon. It has recoil uh, and it also has IR compatibility. So you can plug in an IR sensor and two, three, four, ten, however many tanks can all shoot at each other, if you will, virtually and, uh, you know, play an IR gun game. So now also out of the box, um, I just want to show you some of the things you get too. You obviously get a charger. The battery for these tanks, uh, the Tangde tanks, a little different from other tanks. You actually, they're uh, in this tank specifically, it's it's inside. So with these tanks, um, you're charging them. The battery actually never leaves. You don't have to take the battery out. It lives inside. You can always get access to it if you ever need to replace it. But on this tank here, you'll see where the on off switch is in this, um, you know, in this compartment hatch is where you will see the battery lead. Uh, that's how you charge. You just plug it in this way and you plug this into a USB and you could charge up the tank um, that way. So it's, it's kind of cool uh, how they do it because I don't know about you, but most tank batteries are going to last a long time. Tanks don't tend to, you know, they're not going to consume battery power the way an RC car going 60 miles an hour would or an RC uh, airplane. You get a lot of driving time. You're going to get about 20 minutes on the, uh, on the battery itself. So it's very easy to charge up that way. And I kind of dig it um, that they did that. So again, an internal battery battery, but easily replaceable. You just have to get inside to uh, do that. And then looking around the tank, as far as the other hatches, this one's actually pretty simple. It's just this front hatch for the on off switch. And then on top, we have two hatches. One is going to be under, under the main hatch. This is going to be where your, uh, where your IR sensor is going to plug into. So that'll plug in here. And then you would look for the magnet. That's where it'll uh, live, you know, when you want to play IR. So 
that's the option available to you there. And then for the included BBs, because they do give you two packages of these, I already used one to fill it up uh, so you can see it when we were just driving around, but you open this hatch and there's a little hole there and that's where you fill in, you know, you can fill it all the way up till the brim uh, and then that's gonna allow you to fire uh, your airsoft BBs from the, uh, from the main turret, which is cool. So now let's get it turned on. So obviously this tank and the other option are all, all ready to run. So you receive a transmitter out of the box. You just need to provide your own four AA batteries to power it up, but let's get it started. So I'm going to turn the power on. I'm going to turn on the tank and you will see that the tank, uh, the lights on the front of the tank will turn on when it's turned on. And now this tank is uh, bound up, but nothing's going to happen on the tank until you push this lock, uh, lock button on the transmitter. And when I do that, you're going to hear it turn on. So right away, you could start driving it, but you could wait and hear the whole rev up noise because the sound system uh, is already pre-installed and you could start hearing that now as I move it around. So as you move the turret, The turret itself can go up and down, which is cool. Now the turret on top will rotate, doesn't do a full 360. So I think they call it like 340 degrees maybe, but it'll go basically to there before it stops. And then it'll do the same thing the other way. So it's not full 360, just keep that in mind. You don't wanna, you know, destroy your servo if you're pushing, you know, against the farthest point where it can go. And then the other stick is gonna be your driving. You can see driving tank around. You can hear the sounds. But, so all around, super cool. And then when everything's working in unison, it's always cool to see the tank moving. Like I love doing that where the turret stays still and the, uh, you know, the tank to tank moves. So all around, uh, really cool. Now, one thing that's about these tanks, like most tanks have too, the, the steering and the controls are proportional. So the harder you bang on the sticks in either side, the faster everything will move. The less uh, you put into it, the more scale, the slower uh, everything will move. I got some dirt because we had taken this one outside. Coming off. But then look at this volume. You can lower the volume. All you do is press the volume button and push down on this. I'm gonna turn the volume off so you can hear me a little better. Now we don't need to hear the tank. And then also the tank does have, you know, the ability to fire. So you push the top two buttons at the top and you'll see the tank has recoil and it would fire. Now obviously it doesn't sound good when the volume's off. So when you turn on the volume, you'll get the, uh, you know, the sound of the, the tank firing. So I'm gonna do it again. So you get the sound uh, included and it goes together with an all around uh, better picture. I'm not gonna fire a BB out inside. That's not uh, good, but you can imagine it'll shoot and we'll show you it here. It's shooting when we were outside. So again, as far as driving around the tank, like I said before, it's proportional control. So when you're outside, the, uh, the harder you push on the six, the faster the tank will go. So if you wanna drive in more scale, you can just, you know, slowly push on the six, but also you can look into the manual, the, uh, the transmitter itself. There's a lot of functionality that the manual will show you where you can, um, you know, put in dual rates. So if you want the, the tank to drive slow and scale, when you push the stick all the way to the top, you can do that. It just takes a little time, go through the, uh, you know, go through the manual and the transmitter. Um, will take you through that and show you everything that you need to, uh, do to get that going. But overall, a cool option available now. And again, you get it in either the all plastic treads and plastic road wheels, or you got the professional option of the Centurion, but just a really cool tank to have available that's gonna go with any other brand of 16 scale tanks that you already enjoy. Uh, it'll be great for customizers too. I'm sure there are a lot of different variants of this tank over the years. So a lot of the tank guys on our forums that we see posting, they love to, you know, turn the base. They just like to have the base of the tank and then they, you know, detail it, weather it, get the airbrush out, get all that stuff out, turn it into whatever variant of the tank you enjoy. And that's what's great about Tong Day being available at Motion RC and adding so many nice options that weren't available from other manufacturers. But guys, if you have any comments, questions, please drop them down below. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button on your way out the door. It always helps us out. And as always, guys, the links are in the description down below. So check out the Centurion, check out the rest of the tanks available from Tongue Day right now. And we'll see you next time at Motion RC. Bye, guys.